What's up guys, Axis here and today I'm doing the follow up to my last video which was showing you how to create landscapes with height maps inside the first party render in Cinema 4D. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the same thing but in Octane and I'm also going to be showing you some extra stuff because I actually know how to use Octane. Um, for lighting at least. Um, so yeah, basically I'm just going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be using a different uh, landscape. I've already got a scene set up here. Um, this is basically what we're, we're going to be creating. That actually exports. There we go. This scene took me maybe five or six minutes. Um, I reused these uh, from my base hawk intro though. Just a simple sky HDRI, which you can find online, and a sun with a mixed sky texture. So yeah, I'm going to be using the original two of these, but I'm going to be completely creating new materials and a new camera. So first off, I'm just going to bring in a plane. I'm going to scale this up. Um, and then I'm going to create a shader. So go to create shader and octane material. And then inside here, we've got displacement. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Cinema 4D Octane and then Displacement uh, and I'm going to change the level of detail up to 4K because that's how high my uh, my height map is and again if you haven't watched my original video basically for height maps the higher quality the better so I'm going to grab one of uh, 20 4K height maps from here uh, this is a really nice one because it has a nice texture along with it so you can check these out in the description again um, more than half price off for the first week, um, so yeah, better time than any to buy it. Uh, I'm just going to drag this on the plane now. So as you can see, we've already got a bit of displacement, but it's not really what I want. I want a, a really big displacement. Something like that. Maybe scale this plane down a bit. I'll go for 300. If you want to compare the, uh, the original uh, OBJ to this, what you can do is you can actually bring this in and I like to use scale of 800. This might take a while but um, since it's, since it's uh, kind of real time you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to kind of compare them in the live viewer which is nice. So if we go into the coordinates we can go minus 90 which will put it at the right angle and then I'm going to try and scale this up to the right size. So as you can see now, we can see in the live viewer the uh, OBJ. Obviously it's not as high resolution, just because if we actually had this many polygons, um, 4K polygons, you'd need a lot of VRAM to actually be able to handle that. So as you can see, if I keep dragging this up, it will eventually reach to the top of this. But obviously since it's a height map, we have the uh, the freedom of being able to adjust this as we please. So I'm going to leave it like that. And then to add the texture, all we do is go to Diffuse and go to Image Texture. And then here I'm going to grab my Rocky Winter Texture. And as you can see, it's mapped perfectly onto the height map. And um, the final thing we can do is, um, if you zoom in, you might be able to see a bit of artifacting still. And the way we fix this is going into settings and then changing this to 4K and then just re-rendering and it should look better if you had it on a 2K before. I mean, a, a, yeah, 200 by a 200. So if I, I refresh this, it should look slightly worse. But the main difference is done when you are uh, in the displacement here. So if I put this down to 200, you'll see a lot of uh, detail is lost. And there's no point in putting it to 8K because our map isn't 8K. And it's also pretty unnecessary. Um, so something like that should be fine. And then I'm going to be showing you a little bit uh, of uh, some camera setup that you can do. So I'm going to go to Objects, Octane Camera. And then we're going to click here to make it our active camera. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the focal distance to 70. Which looks pretty nice, I like that. 
I might want to raise up the displacement a, a bit. But basically, I'm going to add a bit of uh, post-processing. Not much though, just until you can see it. And then I'm also going to add some uh, depth of field by turning up the aperture. So I'm just going to raise up the displacement once again, maybe 400. So as you can see we get a lot of detail in basically no time at all. Um, the camera looks great, maybe there's a little bit too much depth of field. But yeah, that's basically the gist of it and then, uh, you know, all you need to do now for an everyday is add a sphere. <laughs> um, so make sure that's visible in the scene. Then all we have to do is make a nice glossy material. Maybe a bit, maybe a bit higher. And then maybe add an image to the roughness. Bada bing, bada boom, we done. Uh, if you want some uh, better looking reflections, make sure you go and change this to uh, direct lighting. I mean path tracing, sorry. And then here's some simple render settings we can do. And if you're doing a still, I'd recommend turning up coherent ratio as well. But obviously, if you're doing motion, you'll get a lot of flicker if you put this on. It just speeds up render quite a bit. So I'm going to leave it on zero just so we don't get any weird colours at the start. So that's pretty much the gist of it. Now if I um, send this to the uh, picture viewer, make sure you change the uh, renderer to Octane. You can see this is going to take four minutes and I'm not even using 100% uh, GPU. Is nice. Two minutes. Um, and I'm using low priority GPU. So yeah, that's just showing the power off this engine and also of this pack. So <laughs> make sure you guys go and check it out for a link in the description. More than half price off for the first week. Um, so enough of selling out. Uh, thank you guys for supporting me uh, throughout um, my whole channel and everything. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.